I didn't What's I guess like one thousand like fifty last time, and now it's like probably a one thousand a hundred. Hey, cause... please don't. Please respect a woman over yeah, here. I love that. Please, I, I saw what you did. That was really disrespectful no, to Lauren. You, she said, "Hold on." <laughs> She Are you, you, know, you guys think you're all bitches? Because I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. I've been doing that. this for ten <laughs> years, so That's over ten years. Hater. Yeah. I'm not no hater. Please show respect to her and her she thousand has all body my count, utmost okay? respect. You know why? Because. At least she's not sitting here at the table being freaking hypocritical like you men are. So. <laughs> how are we being? How how are we being hypocritical? I mean, it's just double standards. What are, what's the well, what's the double standard? Hypothetical is hypocritical. What? Hypothetical. I mean, it's not just YouTube. It's like definitely some these comments arms, and Andrew. stuff. Yeah. I knew his ex, West Valerie. Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> The blasted tat, tat Yeah, she girl. lives in San Diego, yeah. They're not dating anymore? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I yeah. don't know the details. She was um, cool, though. She's cool. Okay. Cool Wait, so how are we hypocritical? Oh double standards. Tell us. The, what's the double standards? I mean, I have to really elaborate now. I got to think. Can, come on. You've spoken barely anything tonight. I'm giving you the floor. Barely anything? I <laughs> too much. I'm over-talking at this, this point. I, I believe in you. Yeah, I don't know. I just I just feel like you guys are a little misogynistic. That's all. Okay, hold on. <sighs> okay. We got a split. I'll wait for Nick to get it. Skylar Raithy first donated $69. Question for the 304s. Do you think a sex work keeps pedos oh. and arpists off the streets? Dollars. Also, lady in the back, I would bet $1 million that your BD is black. He's Ooh. not. He's he... Native American, actually. Oh, okay. Right. Like real life Native from a reservation. Ooh. He's oh. Ojibwe from okay. the Lakutere tribe. Nice. Okay, cool. okay so you yeah. hold on. Going back to this though, you said you said that we're kind of kind of misogynist. First, just so I make sure we're talking about the same thing, can I have you define misogyny? <laughs> the words you guys came got, out I'm, of your mouth. I mean, I don't. You use know. the word. I mean, it's like you know what it means, but like you don't know how to explain it. It's one of those things. But it's like. The, yeah, I'm not. The I, want, I don't want to say suppression, but like I want to. Like, Do you want to take a crack at it? Go ahead, yeah. You want to take a crack at it? I was like, take a crack because then I'll elaborate why I feel like being it. like that. To define it, well, yeah. I think it's what's the right word? It's not like I don't want to say put down or like oppress. I, I guess yeah. I mean, I guess the oppression of women. There's like a word, but like I can't think of it. Well, so the question again is, how do you define misogyny? Wait, hold on. You. I'm, I'm tired. Not your I zoned this out. No, she, I know. What did you just say? I said technically the. I don't know what the actual definition is, but I think it's something around the. I don't want to say oppression of women, but like like putting women down, because they're women. Here, how's this for definition? I'll just give you a kind of a Google one here: hatred or contempt for or prejudice against women. Prejudice. That's the word. I was so, can you give me like what is the definition for the word prejudice? Cause I just want to make sure when I say this, it's right. Hunter puppet. Having a preconceived opinion or feeling, especially an unreasonable or unfavorable one towards a group or a person. I mean, I feel like, yeah, I guess you guys have a little prejudice towards like, you know, what's the word? I guess. Women. Women. Women, yeah. <laughs> no, but How? towards plastic Females. surgery, towards a woman wanting a provider. I don't that, think you, you can be things. prejudiced towards plastic surgery. That How? would just be preference, right? Not uh, really. Yeah. How would it well, be because you misogynistic are... to be against plastic surgery? Isn't that more pro women? Mm. Women? Are you against men getting plastic surgery? Yes. He said okay, then, yeah. yeah. Then yeah. I don't but know. from a dating oh, perspective, I don't. I I'm interested in women, and so I can speak to my romantic and sexual interest in women. And what I find like, personally like for instance, pleasing. yeah, here's a good example. You wouldn't say that if a person said, I'm not attracted towards Austrian's trumpet slayer donated Sorry, Andrew, 69 hold, hold the thought for a sec here. I am the misogyny, fuck sex work, fuck women and fuck yeah, plastic. See, that's how you are coming. You're welcome, Brian. <laughs> no Vienna is shy told. I'm from Upper Austria wall, so you got a dumpy. Why does everybody keep saying I got a dumpy? I don't mean? know. What's Yo, Austrian. Donka shine. Is BBL that how you Brian? say thank BBL you? Brian. I think so. Did <laughs> you get a BBL? Hashtag BBL Brian. Are you lying? No, I'm just, oh, I got to lose your some name, weight. Ryan, your name, Ryan, with lying. 
Okay. Andrew, I'm going to pause the TTS just briefly here to allow you to have this. Yeah, so you would, you, I mean, if somebody said that they didn't want to, I don't know, date a certain race because they weren't attracted to it, you wouldn't say that that was being prejudiced, right? You would just say that that's a preference? I mean, that is kind of being prejudiced, isn't it? No. Really? So you think that okay. you should date people you're not you... attracted to? You So you won't date somebody because of a certain race. Be, so you're not, you're, not attra attracted you're not attracted to, the, to how they yeah, if you're yeah, if, if you're not little, attracted to racist. the people of that race, know. why like, would that be little, prejudiced? Like, that sounds a little something. Yeah, because like, I don't know. That's like... My question is, why would it be prejudiced to, let's say you weren't, you weren't attracted to Asian men? You just weren't for whatever reason. They just didn't do it for you. Is that prejudice? I think so. I don't know. I mean, I would, okay, I would but, think that's a generalization because, yeah. like, maybe there's one, like, that you know, you're like, whoa, you well, changed my mind. There's not like, one on planet Earth who does it for you that you've ever seen. So, you, when somebody says, hey, do you date Asians? And you say, no, because I'm not attracted to them because you've never seen one ever that you're attracted to. Is that prejudice? I would just think it was a generalization. I would think it's because they really haven't seen all of them. So, it's a generalization. But I think that. You know, I would say it's a generalization. I wouldn't say it's prejudice. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's prejudice. Do you think that's prejudicial? That you're being prejudiced towards a group because you won't date them? Well, I don't know about that. I don't know. I mean, well, hold like, on. Like, hmm. like if Brian says he's not ever going to date a trans woman, is he being prejudiced? Uh, well, no, that's, you know, I mean, if he dates women, so no. I mean, I mean like, you know, biologically. I feel I like on a racial standpoint, it kind I of think is, but I don't... If you're not attracted to, you know, X race, why would that... I don't understand how that would be prejudice. That would just be your preference. That it You're not saying that there's anything wrong with them. You're just saying that for you, they don't do it for you, right? I don't know. I don't know. Why well, do you hold, feel like okay, that? hold on. Hold on. Let's not allow ourselves to get off track here. You said that I was prejudiced towards plastic surgery and that is evidence of my misogyny you guys are definitely misogynist a little okay bit. so once again but i mean it's misogyny. i mean it's just like what that guy said hold on, like hold on. define misogyny i just, i told you i can't like you're I mean, using but you okay you're making an accusation you can't even define the word that you're using yeah you feel we're you guys are Why i mean you are i just can't tell you the definition because i Define type of person that I like to, if I'm going to speak on stuff, I like to at least know what I'm kind of like, whatever. Even define the so word. So I want to quit, what um, just on the term prejudice. I just wanted to ask you, is it okay or do you think it's being prejudiced if a black woman says she only dates black men? Is she being prejudiced towards white men? You I'm don't not know? really politically... I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm... Nothing. I don't think there's anything <laughs> wrong. With, I, I don't know if prejudice. Yes, but if you have a yes, no yes, I would say general generalization and then. Yeah, that's interesting. I... But see, I feel hmm. like that's where the confusion. I wouldn't is. know how to coin that actually. Yeah. So you used the fact that I'm against plastic surgery as evidence of my misogyny. I feel like I'm on trial right now. <laughs> is he a misogynist? Yes or no, guys? Y'all okay. let me know. Misogynists like want to okay. have sex with like. How about you just answer the question? I don't so... know. Misogynist, I don't know. The question is, how is I feel like if a woman doesn't have the same opinion surgery, as you and whatnot, I feel like you have a problem with that. So I don't know what you want to define that as. Uh, but I that's have a what I feel with like. everybody who has a different opinion than me. Exactly. That's cool. And you have an opinion, I have one mine. You know, just like Yeah, no, but is that right? misogynistic if I have a problem with everybody who has a different opinion than me? I mean, when it comes down to women and how women feel about other women and you have an issue on it, I mean, sure, you can speak your opinion. This is America. No, no, no. But if I have a problem with everybody's opinion, which is different than my own opinion, then that wouldn't be misogynistic like because like I'm fight. not singling women out. I'm yeah. saying everybody who disagrees with me yeah. is wrong, right? I mean, wrong by... What in your head, yeah, maybe, but maybe yeah. not in okay. theirs. Yeah, so sure. I mean, who cares? Well, it's not a preconceived notion that you're wrong because you have breasts. It's a preconceived notion that you're wrong because I don't fucking agree with what you say, <laughs> right? That would be the preconceived notion. I'm confused. I think that me, like a misogynist, is somebody that like, it, like stomps on like p 
people's rights like doesn't like it's one thing to desire a woman and feminine women or femininity to stay feminine um in a sense where you know keeping them how do i decide so you uh you were making or you made the statement that we're misogynistic i asked you to define misogyny I'd still like to give you an opportunity to define it just to make sure we are talking about the same thing. Or did the definition that Andrew, is that sufficient? Yeah, I think what Into Andrew the mic. Gave, sorry. Yeah, I think what Andrew gave was su sufficient. I don't really want to Yeah, that's uh, hatred really or contempt for or prejudice against women. Uh, I don't want, I'm not weaseling out of it. I'm You just said you myself. don't want to talk about Thank it. Thank you. I don't want to anymore. I'm good. Well, okay, so I feel like it's I'm getting it, tired. It's only fair. I've been debating with you guys for six hours. It's only fair since you've thrown out an accusation. Accusations of misogyny are very, I very guess, serious. You? So you ought to at least defend it. Question for everyone, including Brian and Andrew. If a woman takes longer than 30 minutes to put makeup on her face with no distractions, does she have a cake face? I don't know. What's a cake face? Like just caked on way too much makeup. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not going to let you weasel out of this just as easily as you just threw out this uh, accusation. So why don't we actually have a conversation about it instead of kind of trying to weasel out? Why don't you just make your case, make your argument? Mm, I don't have a case to make. Here's the words that came out of your mouth. You guys are mis... Okay. And I asked, define misogyny. You kind of didn't really do that. So fine, we've defined misogyny. And then I just said how you guys are, are we? Not. How are me and Andrew misogynist then? Maybe it's because like, I don't know, every conversation that we've kind of had tonight, which isn't necessarily misogyny, has been kind of catered toward men. So you're like, you women this, you women that. Exactly. Or she Give got, me an example. She got, oh, you women get dick down or whatever. What was the, con give me the context. You what said you women, they some about, like, they'll down. make this guy wait while they're getting dick down How by this guy. But all your wait, conversations, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All your one, conversations one, are about time. women and what women are doing wrong and nothing about and, and it's like, oh, like, wrong. women are... But that's even, okay. No, hang on, he was responding that. to a question. So she, she asked a question. She said, wait, they do that? In, in this case, the context was about women who have had many uh, partners and then suddenly become chased with a man who they're interested in. And a, a woman asked Brian, they do that? And Brian, who has a lot of experience talking to these women, said, oh, yeah, they do it all the time. She's uh, a, B, C, and D, and here's the example of that. So he's still giving only the specific criteria to those kinds of women. That's not a broad generalization for all women. It's only the women specifically who are engaged in that activity. Well, Andrew, I, I don't even think it's that. She actually takes objection to the specific phrase of getting dicked down. Well, it's just like, I mean, like, would you You've go... You've never said that before? Well, yes. you just said, why are you over here down? talking shit to bitches? That's what you said no, to No, no, that's her. what I'm saying. Like, like, you guys are, like, the, nagging on me for saying that, but then you're like, oh, like, she got dicked down. Like, would you say that to your mom? Why? I, nobody said yeah, anything like about this. Conversation when, is when, very when, you're much going in circles. Down, I like, asked women question, and why like, women in today's it. society and like our thoughts answer and it. stuff like that. Why it's wrong, but it's Bro, like no conversation. Here, here's the further context else. for the conversation. She wanted to talk about waiting I mean, until marriage. It that, was perfectly. Con I feel like there's just like other ways to say it, like or not. Well, on, uh, to, to be honest, like we didn't, we didn't actually care that you said that. We were, we were just no, I know. That's basically what I'm saying. pointing. Yeah. We were just basically pointing out like, if you're going to tone police, we'll tone police back, right? Like I didn't actually give a shit that you said, bitches. I thought it was funny. I was just pointing I'm just out. Using, that I'm not tripping about like, the tone no police. I'm the tone police both example. ways is okay. cringe, totally. right? So, is any girl here actually offended? Was offended when I used the term getting dicked down? Not really, but that's. Is not any my girl point. here? Were you offended? Were you offended? Huh? No, I wasn't offended, but even if I any was of us offended, were, right. even if even if any of us were offended, the definition of misogyny isn't offending a lot of women. The definition of misogyny is having a prejudice against women. Yeah. He doesn't like plastic surgery. He doesn't like that's these fine. specific things, but he doesn't have a prejudice against Well, that's why I'm just saying yeah. that all of the conversation yeah, so maybe so you're so not misogynistic, but you know, you it's definitely something going on with What's like going I, on? you're well, like dancing around like the line no i i think what that, am i dancing around i think what that is going is, on 
That's what she's trying I to explain. Think, no, okay, go I ahead, think, explain. I think that maybe you got a problem with, which is okay. I mean, I got a problem with it too, and that's why problem I act the way. Can I even speak? Why are you guys like so, mad? Like, I can't <laughs> even talk. You just interrupt me. Anyway, get me off my train of thought. Yeah, so you don't. Mm, I can't even speak. No, because what I want to say, what I want to say is, yeah, you just exactly. No, me of no, I do, you. I do. I feel like I don't want to accuse you of interrupting me. I just feel like you're being rude. Just answer the question. No, I can take my time to answer this question if I feel like it. Thank you. Anyway, I think that you just have a problem with maybe women's in today's society or like social media or just all that that type of stuff. Okay. I think you have a problem with that, and I feel like women especially women who are in my lane of a type of thought pattern are more like this because we gave a lot to men and didn't receive the best experience. Now, that doesn't mean every man is like that. I'm not categorizing all men. I'm not saying all men need to pay your rent or something like that. But what I am saying is I don't feel like there's anything wrong with how I want to go about okay. it. But I feel like you have an issue with it. So sure. it's just opinion. That's, what, that's so all I was saying earlier. Logic, was it's, the way that we it's are all opinions in my yeah, I, that's, again, and that's what I said. So you said that my views <sighs> on social media, again, you called us misogynist. I just, and I just took it back. If you didn't hear me, I took it back three fucking times. Okay. I well, said maybe um, you're not misogynist, but you have an opinion. But, and I'm, that's the only thing I'm like okay, really so debating with you is that. Okay, so I have a negative opinion towards so social media. So I'm agreeing media. with you to disagree with you. That doesn't even make sense, okay, but sure. not social media. I think she's just talking about women. It's just like it's not like makes sense to you. It's not like we were offended. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say misogyny is is more like stopping someone's or not wanting someone to be able to sustain themselves and then be a woman and then want to have sex with them anyways. That's what I think misogyny is. So, I'm just a little confused. Mm. You have what? Then what are the things I've said that you have an issue with? I mean, I don't care. I if really, it's not misogyny, I don't care. Don't. I just feel like it's been kind of like. I don't want to say cater toward men, but you're like, oh, in this exactly. situation, like, Thank what you. percent of men, blah, 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 like, in this situation, men, okay, so you women would rather be in the forest yeah. with a bear, like, you guys are so wrong for that, because, like, people have different opinions, and, yeah, like, it's very the much way, like, how I said, towards. like, bitches, like, like that was, why like, men are right and women are wrong, yeah. that's what I feel like, I feel like it, the, it, you're, you're very against women being, like, let me get my body done. Let me let me be this type so, of person. So I'll engage you. So, Hold on. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay. I so mean, you said, me, I'm against... Okay. Well, I have to interrupt you because you, you list out 30 different criticisms. And I can... It, it just... I don't know, Andrew, if you call that gish galloping or whatever. I can only address one point at a time. So why don't we address this whole me being against plastic surgery? How is that misogynistic? I didn't say it was. I just... When I asked you earlier, okay. okay, so you object to me, then you just blanketly in a general sense, just object to me being against plastic surgery, I which is fine because yeah. you're a proponent of plastic surgery. I'm against plastic surgery. Yeah, I mean, it's not just plastic surgery, but it's whatever I, mean, I said is like, it's I mean, really just anything like in a feminist type of viewpoint you don't agree with. How is it feminism though? Like the whole, body empowerment or you know my body my choice i mean but he it's even said it earlier like it's two, two different women. types of fem feminism sure like that it's you know for makeup and he has a good point with that i'm definitely i agree with it but at the same time you know i don't know i feel like we have the choice to do what we want we live in a free country mm -hmm. so i don't think you should be able to you know just like mm -mm, somebody i don't know the word wait what you think i'm well, see well, Her? no, I think you would be considered more misogynistic than Brian. So, I mean, you I believe agree. in original... I think these, well, women sitting to the right sin, of me right? Are, are definitely a little bit more um, misogynistic than you guys are. I would agree with that. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm not... More really. misogynistic? I think so. I think feminism is a lie to trick women into hating yeah, themselves. Even them. men dying in war. Then what... I just realized, like, earlier, it's like... <laughs> kidding, men that's my war, favorite topic. Let's talk about it. Let's okay. talk about men. Go ahead. The Say thing that you just got done saying that you didn't want to talk about at all because I all know. the show has been talking care. about men. Now you're like, why don't we talk about the men? Okay, let's do that then. Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but it's absurd to me that you're like, in the one side of your mouth, you go, I can't believe 
that all these women's issues you keep on making it into talking about men. And then when we get down to an issue you want to talk about, you say, I want to talk about men. So what she was saying, she was saying how, like, something about feminism, and so I said talk about misogyny. Yeah, I do think that women are deceived with this whole feminine movement. Or oh. So then how do you feel about misogyny then? How do I feel about yeah. it? Misogyny is bad. It's a prejudice against women. That's, right. Of course it's bad. Okay, just then what's, is, the, what's wrong with feminism? It just one takes one quick your... thing. You do realize that you can be anti-feminist and not be a misogynist. Being anti-feminist is like, not I'm being anti-women. Go ahead with your point. Thank you. All this political stuff. I forgot where I was at. I just get... Well, I, I think feminism is a trap. And no, I'm not misogynistic. I absolutely want the best for women. I have my opinions on what is best for women, and feminism completely goes against that. Obviously, I believe in the Bible, and I believe in those gender roles, and I believe that women are nurturers and would be better off, you know, submitting to their okay, husband. So then, and is it wrong children. for me to not want to submit to a man, man yes. unless he's providing for me? I do think men should provide for women, and women should submit to their husbands and nurture the children. That's and that's I agree, what I believe in. and that's how I feel as well. I feel like you want me to raise your family, you want me to have your kids, you want okay. me to be intimate with you, then I want you to provide for me. And I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. And I feel like it's wrong to sit here and call me a prostitute for that. I have a question for you. There's an emotional level of taking care of me. There's a physical level of taking care of me. And there's a financial and spiritual level. So yeah, it's look, all I'm, of that. I'm, sure. Nobody was calling you a prostitute, not for the idea that you want to be taken care of by a man. So before no, he even he knew I had OnlyFans, he, he called me a sex worker. That's so. different, though. You're taking two... Yeah, I know. Okay, well, when you're done, let me know, and then I'll untangle the concepts for you. Go ahead. Great, Sweet you're man. done. So, <laughs> so to untangle the concepts for you, concept one, yes, if you're an OnlyFans worker, you're considered a prostitute. Yes. I would agree that that is what was said. No but when it came to the relationship, oh what was asserted to you was if it's only transactional, if the relationship is purely transactional, transactional then it would be prostitution and i said multiple you said, times it wasn't yeah, which is why we weren't calling you a prostitute for that we're just saying if it were purely transactional that would be prostitution. exactly so when he called me a sex worker earlier before he even knew i had an only fans or anything like that then by your what you guys are saying yeah I, well, well i wasn't here for that conversation then because of the, I didn't hear him well, mention I think anything I think about sugar daddies to you while I was here. Anyway. Okay. Well, I think it's funny that when we put it in a certain sense of like, in almost like a religious standpoint, all of a sudden it's okay. But when I was saying it earlier in a different standpoint, because I'm not the most religious person, now all of a sudden I'm a sex worker and I have sugar daddies and all this crazy stuff. I didn't say anything about you, you didn't. having sugar daddies. I didn't daddies. say you did. I said your friend yeah. did. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is that if you have a it's relationship right with a man that, which is purely transactional, you're only getting resources in exchange for sex, I don't know what to call that except prostitution. Yeah, and I said multiple times that it wasn't purely transactional. Which is why I didn't call you a prostitute for that. Friend did. I asked you when we were talking about your whole relationship thing and you wanting to wait until a guy starts providing, et cetera, et cetera, I asked you something along the lines of, look, we've talked a lot. I, if I recall correctly, could be wrong. I asked you, isn't that prostitution? Or how is that not prostitution? Yeah, and I said, I'm not out right, working but I didn't on a corner. You, if I recall correctly, I don't think- We're the, on a back page the, or anything I called like you a prostitute. I asked, how is that not prostitution? It's not prostitution. It's a standard. But how? How is it? How is if you if you feel like a man should I provide think, and I want to submit to my man, but I want to be taken care of and I want him to provide for how me. Is that how is that prostitution? Hold Versus on. a caretaker. But see, hold on. You're changing things up a little bit. No. The original framing was I, the words. I understand. Came, I didn't on, say the word submit it. earlier, but hold that on. doesn't mean that's not what I want to do. This is Stop. my man. Just let me finish. You said something along the lines of I will not have sex with a man until he pays my bills something along those lines. I don't know if that's verbatim. The way that came out, I will not have sex with a man no, until he pays my bills. You Ladies, said to is, me. That, is that that's about what That's what you said to me. Said? Is that- No, that's what you said to me. I want to be taken care of. Like, that's, that's what I said. That's pretty much the caretaker oh, no, 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 no. role. Said, that's what yeah, every, like, I have bills. That's something to be taken care of. I and mean, then look. you wanted, no, then you made it going back to your, you know, whatever it is that you're doing on this podcast, 
like trying to mm -mm to women who feel some type of way or who believe in what I believe in type what, of vibe. What do you believe in? Yeah, what do you believe in? I'm, oh my God. I already Making said it 20 man. times on this. I mean, in a relation, what are we talking about? Relationship, religion, I already talked about both of that. So just, go back, I'm go just, back. So, 